welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have an autumn haul i know it's going to be way too early still for some people but i've decided to just jump straight on in this year i found myself getting really busy with content last year in autumn and i ended up doing like three sometimes four uploads a week got a bit hectic and i thought you know what most of you watching are like me in that you love the autumn content why not start it early so i figured let's do that so i've actually got an amazon haul today autumn themed with a couple of random bits in as well so if you want to see what i picked up then make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy autumnal festive why not drink and the snacks and let's jump straight into it the first thing i'm going to start with is a book and it's one that i got recommended by one of you guys so thank you so much for sending me this recommendation over on my instagram and it was basically a find a three pound find it was three pounds something of this book and this is the hotel chocolat a new way of cooking with chocolate cookery book so this was actually uh from the used books it says used very good condition i'm just going to throw it out there and say they probably should have advertised it maybe as used good rather than very good condition because you can definitely tell that this is used which is just hit and miss isn't it if you're willing to get um a used book then you can get it at a three pound bargain this is meant to be 20 pounds um and if you like the aesthetically pleasing books and let's face it cookery books are probably more likely of all the books to be damaged as opposed to like nice coffee table books this one's going in my collection of like nice looking cookbooks which i obviously want to put out in my future kitchen and yeah this will add to it nicely i feel this is just loads of different recipes um from hotel chocolat oh what's that cocoa gin i did not know that they did gin so yeah i recommend checking out the used book section if you want to grab yourself a bargain uh maybe i should just stick with the other books that i got because i did actually get a few i also picked up this one and i had a flick through this this morning and this just makes me so happy if you're a bread lover this is called toast the cookbook it is american because if you look at the contents divided into four sections of which they are the seasons and it says fall winter spring summer which obviously we here in the uk call it autumn as opposed to fall but some of these recipes are let me just read some to you because honestly best cinnamon toast that's the first one in the winter section oh god this one i think this one's gonna be my favorite i definitely want to recreate this dutch apple pie toast yes maple pear toast with fig sesame jam and balsamic drizzle i mean this makes me very happy so rrp of this is 14.95 and i picked this one up on amazon for 11 pounds so not much of a saving but i mean you get a few pounds off the next book that i got kitchen book is this it's called monk light and shadow on the philosopher's path it's called and this is essentially well it's rrp is 29.95 and i got it for 20 pounds and it's in fact should we open it oh, i kind of want to keep these protected until i actually get them out but if you click through i'll leave all the links to these items in the description box and if you click through you can do the look inside where you can see what some of the recipes are and things i love the binder on this one as well it's got a detailed monk there it's kind of like a, an exposed binder another one i've always had my eyes on is this nopi oh this looks good so there's the contents page starter salad size fish meat veg brunch and puddings cocktails condiments loads of different suggestions or oh, should we have a look at the cocktails 286 oh this is good it's even got a little kind of cocktail kit guide there as to what you should have within your collection should you be into making cocktails coriander and gin martini banana and cardamom kumquat and passion fruit spiced pumpkin let's just have a look at this oh it includes rum oh i bet that's quite nice yeah i just loved the whole branding and whole aesthetic of this cookbook like i said i have seen it before in shops and things and been tempted to pick it up so i got it from amazon the rrp of that one is 30 pounds see how much i pay for it i can never remember the exact prices they're always really random prices on amazon aren't they and they change as well which is annoying because i can tell you one price 
it might change and be another soon okay so this was 18 pounds i got that for almost half price and then the last book that i picked up is this one which is probably my favorite it's called sunday suppers i have actually um bought this in the past and ended up gifting it to someone but i wanted one myself so i decided to pick it up again this was 18 pounds but has an rrp of 47 dollars so pretty good saving and it's just the most wholesome recipe kind of cookbook with obviously it all being based around Sunday, which to me, Sunday just equates to indulgence, just all the flavours, all the yummy goodness. And yeah, I really, really just, I think this is just a really nice wholesome book that I think will look lovely in the kitchen on display. Also for the kitchen, I picked up this little set of spices. This is called the Life of Spice Gourmet Spice Blends Mini Baking Collection. And these are £13 for the set of three. They can come individually. You can purchase them separately. But I decided to go for the set of three. So the three spices that come within this set... If this doesn't get your autumnal juices flowing, I don't know what will. Okay, so number one, pumpkin pie spice mix. Number two, gingerbread spice. I feel like we've got some little baking videos potentially in autumn. And then this last one, speculus spice, which is like the lotus biscoff flavour. Yum. Oh, there are some recipe cards in here as well. Okay, so you've got ooh, a pumpkin pie, gingerbread, and biscuits, speckless biscuits. But I guess you could use these spices within any kind of recipe. Cakes, muffins, overnight oats. Not overnight oats, baked oats. I always say overnight oats, but mean baked oats. I'm actually not a fan of overnight oats as much as I am baked oats. Anyway, moving on. Last, oh no, not last item for the kitchen. One of the last items for the kitchen. I got this baby, which is just a bottle of dreaminess. So if you know, I'm obsessed with the pumpkin spice latte from obviously Starbucks. And they're the only ones that honestly just get it right every time. However, they do use this Monin syrup, Monin's, Monin syrups. Uh, so I figured scrap the sugar-free ones which always say on the back that might have a laxative effect and I'm always a bit dubious of them anyway they're gone I'm just sticking with the good old sugared syrup that is flavorful yummy and is a real treat in your coffee topped with some squirty cream some pumpkin spice sprinkled on top mix pumpkin spice spice <laughs> And honestly, I think I can recreate something at least similar to my very beloved pumpkin spice latte that isn't out yet. So I'm going to try that and hopefully love it. So this was £8 for the entire bottle, which I think is pretty generous considering you don't, you can't buy them in like regular supermarkets. I think sometimes you can get, I've got the gingerbread one before, but I've never seen pumpkin spice flavoured syrup within the stores so yeah i thought that was a good find okay the last uh of the kitchen items i got i actually got some more of these but they're in the cupboard but i thought i would just get the two to show you i got a, a bit of a job lot of this pumpkin um it's just 100 percent pumpkin that is literally all it is blended up pumpkin and you might think it's for a pumpkin pie or some kind of baking which i suppose it could be it's actually not it's for the dog <laughs> so this is really good on their stomachs you can do little frozen treats with these you can fill their kong with them and yeah he can just sometimes i'll just put some of this on his dinner as an added little yumminess to his kibble and yeah you just have to make sure it's 100 percent natural pumpkin with no extra additives or anything okay we also got this really randomly cheesecloth so it is literally just a piece of material this kind of cheesecloth fabric really really lightweight thin almost linen-y textured well it's a cheesecloth that's just what it is it's cotton essentially and this was super affordable i think it was about three pounds and my intention with this is potentially within maybe some kind of diy video that i might do in autumn for little pumpkins or home decor bits i thought i could pick this up and maybe repurpose it somehow by making little pumpkins or something so yeah it's a nice fabric to work with it's really like thin and lightweight so and three quid as well bargain so again thinking along the lines of diy crafts within that kind of video i thought i would pick up some jute ribbon which makes for beautiful gift wrap even into christmas as well i love using jute and then similarly i picked up 
this which is from Nutley's Kitchen Gardens uk and it's basically a little hessian sack which they had styled up in like a kitchen setting with uh, pump, uh, not pumpkins in, <laughs> uh, potatoes in and they just kind of rolled over the top and just had it as a bag within your kitchen to store potatoes, onions, whatever and it kind of gives that rustic vintage farmhouse style that is very autumnal again adding a bit of like autumn kind of decor within your home without it being halloweeny but yet again this kind of fabric would make a great option for a little diy and yeah i just i liked the idea of having these kind of na natural textures and fabrics throughout the home throughout autumn but honestly all year round <laughs> same with these these are like home decor bits which are seasonal kind of american style but is purpose all year round it's not just for autumn and they're these little wooden beads so i've seen these styled up these ones in particular these long ones so i'll show you these ones first i've seen them styled up on like coffee tables on top of books like around candles and they're essentially wooden decorative beads that's all you need to google oh no oh no oh no oh no it's broken some of the beads have fallen off and the tassel on one end has come off so all the little spare beads are within the bag so i'll have to just fix that i'll figure it out but yeah they just kind of sit like nicely on like like i said styled on shelves or coffee table books wood bead garland they call it that was 6.99 and then i also got four of these i'll just show you one so you can see what they look like but they're again those wooden beads with the little tassels on the end but these are actually chunkier these beads so this is actually like a little hanging it's got a looped hanging part at the top which i think they described them as door handle like hanging decorative things but i thought these would look quite nice as a napkin ring you know like on a place setting just this kind of put around there napkin maybe a little pumpkin on top the little felt ones from the white company when it is the season but yeah i just thought they'd work quite nicely like that these were only 3.99 as well for four that's it cheaper than a pound each if you saw them in poundland i'd think i'd hit the jackpot Ugh, this packaging just makes me so happy i had no idea it would arrive like this <laughs> if this doesn't scream autumn then i don't know what does thanksgiving cookie cutter set seven piece stainless steel i feel like all the really good autumn stuff has come from america they just know how to do it so this is like i said a cookie cutter set there are seven pieces the ones that i particularly like are this one which is a pumpkin which i thought was lovely and then i really liked this one as well actually this one is a like a maple leaf and I just think that is so autumnal. There's a couple of other leaves and acorns and different shapes in there as well. You can buy these as separates, but because I was gonna get the pumpkin and the leaf, I thought I might as well, for the cost of two, nearly three, you could get a full set of seven. So I just opted for the full set, 7.99 it was for the full set which i think is pretty good again nearly a pound each the apple one would be quite nice for if you were doing like little apple and cinnamon cookies how cute would that be yeah i'm definitely gonna have to do some baking i feel like i'm gonna have to start dieting and then indulge over autumn and winter because i've got a lot of baking to do within this and then last but not least i did pick up one stem single stem of cotton what they called cotton stems i think they're just called so i got a single stem but um because I, I wanted to check the quality of them first but you can get them in like sets of three five ten depending on how big of a bunch you want and they are actually quite big so i feel like a single oh that one's falling off i feel like a single stem would be a bit lost on its own so i feel like you would need a bunch of at least five i would say but they're really i don't know there's something about them that just kind of gives off like an autumn vibe the fact that they're like an orangey rusty brown they're cotton so they kind of look cozy but anyway that is everything that i picked up not the biggest of amazon hauls for me but nonetheless a very seasonally appropriate and very exciting if you are an autumn lover like me let me know which is some of your favorite finds and if there's anything else that you spot 
just like one of you recommended this to me, then please send them over my way. In fact, probably best not to because otherwise I'll just buy everything. No, do send them. I love seeing um, your guys shopping as well, essentially. I love it when um, you guys share out and about like what you found. If you think that I'd like it, if you message me on Instagram and send it to me quite often I'm just like oh see it right that's it I'm off out and I'm buying it so you guys influence me to shop as well so anyway thank you so so much for watching this video let me know if you enjoyed it by giving a thumbs up it really helps out my channel if you do like this content and of course if you were to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload I'm starting to plan in all of my autumn content into Christmas as well now so any suggestions of videos that you would like to see throughout the cooler seasons by all means pop them in the comments below or message me on instagram i love getting your guys feedback and suggestions as well thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys